Hello and welcome to the Knitting on the Run podcast, where it's always knitting and fun in 30 minutes or less. Show notes can be found at windswepknits.com. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Windswept Noni, and on Facebook and Twitter as Windswept Knits. This is episode 115, recorded April 28th, 2023. Well, hello there. I hope you're all doing well. We're doing great here. I just wanted to warn you, there may be some weird noises. I have my cat in my lap while I'm recording, which I don't normally have. She is 21, yeah, 21 years old. Yes, she's old, 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 and uh, she is completely deaf, and she doesn't tend to realize how loud her voice is these days, so I will try to edit out anything extremely loud, but you might hear some purring in the background. She's currently getting a belly rub and is purring her little head off here. But first off, let's start with some finished objects. I actually have two this episode, which is very exciting. First off, I have socks for Thing 2. This is the second one. I think I mentioned the first one last time around. These were his Christmas socks, uh, but since I knit these last summer, he has thinned out. His legs are much thinner. And the problem with when I originally made them was that the foot fit, but the legs were far too loose and they were actually like baggy and sagging down. So I unraveled the leg on both socks back to a little bit above the heel turn, maybe like an inchish above the heel turn. And I started redoing the legs in two by two ribbing and now the second sock is done and he is very excited to have his socks. The second project I finished is another crochet square for the Liberty Crochet Mural. Today I mailed in my square for Vermont which is a state I used to live in so I'm very excited to help with that one. This is a project to have murals in all 50 states in support of reproductive rights. There are 40 squares for each mural and each is crocheted by a volunteer and mailed to the coordinator in that state. So this is my third square, and I am so happy to be supporting reproductive rights for all. On to whips. I'm working on the socks for thing one. These are also his Christmas socks, and as I mentioned last time around, they don't fit at all. He could not even get them over his foot, but he really liked the yarn. So I am re-knitting them in basically the size for my foot, because his foot is getting awfully close to my foot. I've unraveled all the yarn, and I've recast them on. On the first sock, I am nearly to the first heel turn. I'm working on knitting a couple tops also, the first of which is called Songe d'été, also known as Summer Dreams. That's designed by Dreaming and Chocolate Designs. I'm knitting this using the Linnea Pura Unico yarn by Lana Grossa, which is a discontinued linen bamboo blend that I bought at Webbs a few years ago. It is a beautiful yarn. It was a hand-dyed yarn, and I, I wish they still made it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have finished the fronts and backs. It's a it's a top-down knit, so I finished the front and back portions, and then I joined them in the round, and I am just about to the front of the bust. Uh, so far, it's fitting great. So the A-line pattern starts almost immediately, but I'm keeping knitting another inch or so before I get to the pattern increases. And as I mentioned before, I already have a plan on how to make the right size to do the lace at the bottom, so I am good to go. The second top I'm working on is called Davit. That's a design for Barocco by Amy Palmer. I'm knitting this using Silk Noir by Great Adirondack Yard Company. Bought it at Rhinebeck last year. I have reached the short rows for the back and I am nearly done. I am very excited. The last uh, knitting project I'm working on is the Find Your Fade designed by Andrea Mowry. I'm knitting this up in a couple of different yarns. uh, Midori Bamboo from the Fiber Lady in a discontinued colorway plus a cotton bamboo sport weight blend from a great Adirondack Yarn Company and a little bit of hand spun. I am fading on my own schedule. Basically, when my yarn runs low, I start to fade. So it's not the one written in the pattern. So far, I faded from the Fiber Lady into the great Adirondack Yarn Company yarn. I'll be using the two skeins of this sport weight yarn for the body of the shawl. And then at the end, when you kind of make the end of the large triangle, I will be using um, hand spun cotton to reach the end. So I have reached the full width, finally, but then I ran into some trouble. Knitting fail. So yeah, in the finder fade, I reached the full width of the shawl and ended up with some unplanned pooling, which was fine because about after an inch of that, I reached the, um, the second lace section, which I knew would break up the pooling and it was looking really good. Then I realized about half an inch down, I would missed a dropped yarn over. I don't want to give away the secret sauce, um, but you need that drop to be there to continue a pattern that was early earlier established and instead of continuing the pattern I ended up with like a little like angle or corner where you really don't want one in a triangular shawl. So I ripped back and I started re-knitting and immediately the color pooling stopped it, stopped abruptly 
and it didn't look as good as when the pooling had ended at the lace, so I ripped back to the start of the pooling, and I'm not sure why my gains changed, but it has, and so far, no pooling, and I'm working my way back up to the second lace section. Spinning! There is more progress on my current spin. There's some be- This is um, some beautiful green, lightly speckled cotton fiber from Buchanan Fiber. Um, unfortunately, Buchanan Fiber closed a year or two ago, which is sad because I love their cotton. I am on the second bobbin, and I plan to bring my Nano 2 on an upcoming trip to visit friends and do some spinning while we're there. On the run. So there's not much in fitness this week because I pulled a muscle. Did you know that you have muscles in between each of your ribs? I totally didn't realize that. Um, I do now, after I have pulled an external intercostal muscle while swimming. So I now know they exist, and I actually know the names of them. <laughs> but, oh boy, that, uh, yeah, that hurt. I was in the middle of doing laps, and I had to stop immediately, stand up in my lane, and walk to the end of the pool. Uh, I'm fine now. It doesn't hurt. I'm still being gentle this week to let it heal before I go back, because these muscles can be pulled especially by reaching overhead and twisting, and I've been working on my, um, my freestyle and perfecting my twist in the water, which no one ever taught me when I was a kid. When you freestyle, you're supposed to twist, not just face straight down. So I've been focusing on my twist and really working it. And uh, it turns out I work it a little bit too much. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in the pool soon. Out and about. Upcoming fiber events online and around New England. Connecticut Sheep and Wool is coming up April 29th. New Hampshire Sheep and Wool is May 13th and 14th. Massachusetts Sheep and Woolcraft Fair is May 27th through 28th, Memorial Day weekend. The main fiber frolic is June 3rd and 4th. I am not sure if I'll be able to make any of these. There's a small chance I might make the main fiber frolic. I know I will not be able to attend the New Hampshire and Massachusetts ones, but um, I'm, I'm probably not Connecticut, but I'm, I'm hoping I might be able to make it to Maine. And last up, I've got sunshine. So we have had lovely weather the past few weeks. So I pulled out my deck planters a little bit early and put a few pansies in them. And it has really cheered me up having my happy place to sit on the deck again, sitting out there, enjoying the sunshine, surrounded by flowers, maybe with some knitting or crochet in my hands. It is marvelous. And it's my favorite place to be as long as we have the deck up and about. So that is making me super happy. And I hope there's something in your life's bringing you joy. We're going to keep this episode on the short side since last week's was so long. I hope you all have a wonderful next week and a half. I'll be recording again at the end of the month. And as always, keep those legs and those needles moving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.